Today we are going to be making this floating wine bottle holder. All right, I'm just gonna use this piece of wood that I found in my scrap bin. I'm gonna measure it and rip it on the table saw down to the desired size that I want it to be. I'm just going to use the planer to remove the blade marks that the table saw blade created. I will be cutting the two edges at a 45 degree angle. I'm taking my time and slowly making this cut because I don't want the wood to split. The two 45 degree angles, they're supposed to be parallel to each other. I measured the distance from the top where I want to make the hole. Then I use my center ruler to find the center of the wood. I put a piece of wood below to reduce the chance of a tear out. Then I carefully drill the hole with my force a bit. I'm using this clamp to workbench method because I do not have a router table. I use the router to round over the edges of the circuit. Then I use my orbit sander to smooth the flat surface and remove the pencil marks. I carefully hand sanded the corners and the edges to remove the sharpness. I sanded the 45 degree angle cuts 
with a block of wood and 220 grit sandpaper. After all the sanding was done, it was time to apply the stain. I applied one coat of Jacobine stain and let it dry. After it dried, I applied one coat of Danish oil. All right, so the way how this works, you have to set the bottle cap inside the hole and find the balancing spot. Once you find the balancing spot, it should stay in place and won't move. All right, that's it for this one. If you like this video, consider subscribing and thanks for watching.